Pick a penny, drop a penny, pick a penny, yep. drop a penny, pick a penny, drop it like it's hot. Today is a special day. <laughs> I've gotten up on all of the benchmark reviews, and what we have also that special is a alpha release of the Cosmic Desktop Environment by Jeremy Solar, who also wrote Redox OS and is working for System76, who also produces hardware for open source operating systems. So let's have a look at where this alpha version of Cosmic ranks. So previously, Cosmic had been benchmarked with NixOS, and this was the May version with GreetD as the display manager. It was running within 676 megs of RAM. Now that, for a memory-safe desktop environment written in Rust, not bad, considering this is an alpha release. There's a lot of worse options than this. It's not bad as a start. With Pop! OS on the alpha release that came out, this is where we're at. So I say, save it to the morning after. Yes, Daddy. Unfortunately, something about either the Ubuntu 2404 release or they're still uh, navigating around how Rustlang can be optimized is running 1.3 gigs of RAM. That's not great. I don't know if I can recommend it with Pop! OS. This is only an alpha version, so there is an opportunity here for this to be optimized significantly. You want it to perform better than your competitors if you are the person developing the desktop environment. This, in my book, would be the number to beat when this comes out, when it's not an alpha, it's not a beta version, when they release Cosmic. I believe it should be performing better than how it would perform on your competitors. Right now, it's it's not that. This is double. At least it looks like the CPU load is slightly lower with Pop! OS on the Ubuntu distribution. Six gigs of disk usage. It could be worse. Somehow on NixOS it's four gigs and NixOS is like a heavy disk user. I don't know what System76 has done here with Pop! OS with Cosmic, but this is not good. 19 seconds, that's not great either. Ultimately, this is only an alpha release. When they consider it generally available, hopefully this will all be better. If you do want to run Cosmic, you can try it out here. Hopefully they keep it up to date. The NixOS version is also another option. I would more likely run it on NixOS than I would on Pop! OS at this point, just because of this and this. The memory usage is so high, and the disk usage is also very high. <laughs> But yeah, I guess I should, since it's such a special occasion, just talk about briefly about everybytecounts.org. It's been updated again, just continually trying to improve and simplify the information here. All this information here is displayed first thing on the website because commonly people will see these numbers for their absolute favorite operating system and just be in denial, saying that these numbers are not real they're phony somehow. You can run these tests yourself and compare any two options and see how they are relatively. Some of the indicators have been refined, showing non-default options, when the, the software is old and how old. It makes it visually a little bit easier to recognize what some of the better options are and what are not so good, just based on the colors. Additionally, if you would like to request a particular operating system to be benchmarked, submit a new issue on GitHub with the appropriate version information that will be considered. There's some documents that are on here based on uh, experience from having these all benchmarked. Uh, these can be helpful for people looking to optimize things or run a certain particular combination of things. There's just some helpful information. If you're looking for uh, something to be audited that's open source, there is contact information or if you want to support this project, there are options if there's anything you would like considered for benchmarking, auditing for this site or another site, I would be interested in hearing what it is. Yeah, have a great day with your operating system. Take it for a walk. Now, over to the Game Master. We are the Cosmic. Restart. Confirm. Restart confirmed. Pop! OS logo. Blank screen. Pop! OS logo. Pop! OS logo again. Log output. Blank screen. Login screen. Blank screen. Blank screen.
We've made it. The eight foot tall bronze statue. I'm just excited to see my Lord and Savior Baphomet represented in such glorious Italian stone. I do hope his eyes gaze upon me and that my allegiance is recognized. I don't know. Notice me, Senpai. Notice me.